California officials have said National Guard troops are ready to help along the Mexican border. And just last week, Governor Brown formally accepted federal funds for that mission. But Brown also said there would be conditions. This will not be a mission to build a new wall. It will not be a mission to round up women and children or detain people escaping violence and seeking a better life, the governor said. The Guard would not be allowed to handle support roles like fixing fences or operating surveillance cameras. Now that mission appears to be on hold. The Associated Press reporting that California has effectively rejected the Trump plan after raising concerns that some of the work is too closely tied to immigration enforcement. This afternoon, federal officials backed up that report. Acting Customs and Border Protection Deputy Commissioner Ronald Vitiello says Governor Brown has determined some tasks federal officials want the California National Guard are, quote, unsupportable. And Robert Celesis with the Department of Homeland Security says federal officials want guard troops for two areas that the guard won't perform. Today, the governor's office is taking issue with all of this, at least for now. In a statement from Lieutenant Governor Tom Keegan at the California National Guard, it says state officials have not rejected anything since the governor responded to the federal government last Wednesday with the proposed memorandum of agreement between the state of California and the Department of Defense and the Department of Homeland Security. The federal government has not yet responded. The next step is for the federal government to respond by signing the memorandum of agreement.